Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to The Engineer. Now this is the full version of the game which is out now if not soon depending on when I release this video. Which means as well as loads of new levels and stuff there's this the creative sandbox. Wow. So if we load up the map oh man we have it's like a huge it's a huge map where there's a huge waterfall a giant chasm and what's up the top of this hill oh it's a volcano whoa volcano -y. but at the base of the waterfall i've spotted this like a huge chasm a massive opportunity to build a bilf now if you've never heard of bilf before bilf stands for bridge i'd love to f fabricate uh, and if you look down the bottom we've got like all these new materials to play with so we didn't really have blocks and mortar to play with last time we definitely don't have wheels rotators propellers or ropes oh man there's ropes just to start with just just to test i just want to see like how ropes work can we make like a tensegrity thing oh what <laughs> Well, that, that didn't work as intended in the slightest. Now, it may be that these beams are, like, not strong enough. Like, you know when you're doing, like, hangman? you got to, like, you got to add some bracing, haven't you? So a bit of bracing down that side. Do that side as well. Bit of bracing to the floor. Bit of bracing on this side as well. All right, so is that any better? Now it's stronger. Or... <laughs> There's one other thing we can do to fix this. Oh, we can add screws. Presumably, a screw is stronger than a nail, right? So if I just screw, like down there down there right there's loads of screws in this which means hopefully that joint is really strong so i'll do the same the same for this joint down here so was it just a strength thing or does 10 secretary just not work in this game oh it, it does it does work almost oh <laughs> yeah, but yeah you can sort of see how 10 secretary would work <laughs> Basically, the weight of the table is hung through like the bit in the middle. And then all the all the cables around the outside, they should all be in tension because as this top like tries to lean left, these ones on the right go tight. As it tries to lean right, these ones on the left go tight. The thing is, I think these ropes have a bit of slack built in them. Yeah, which means we've got a slightly, a slightly wonky table, which therefore the optical illusion doesn't really look very illusion-y. Really? Still, nice, nice to test how 10 secretary works. And maybe, maybe you learn what 10 secretary is. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. We have a bridge to build. Now, I want to have a little go with the blocks and mortar. Uh, so let's have a go. Maybe, maybe down here, this little gap. Let's start, say, down there. So we've got a block built into the dirt. I think if I add mortar to the top, okay, then, oh, I can only spin that direction. Okay. So maybe I don't want to do it that orientation. But yeah, I want to do that orientation i can only tilt it forward oh that's no good what i want to do is build like a brick a brick arch i can't rotate like the other direction but i could mortar that side and then shove a block like there and then presumably can i mortar there and then add a block on top yes oh but i can only rotate that direction yeah no brick arches going on today okay well at least we know now what if out of interest i were to just like I just mortar that edge. Here you go. Look, I'm building. I'm building like a straight wall. So what would happen if I if I say physics build that for me and tell me what it does? Is it going to fall down? Oh, it holds. In which case we can come over to our engineer here and we can go test it out. Oh, I forgot how you walk in this game. Oh goodness. Yeah, there's all those controls that I forgot about. Oh dear. Anyway, there's our bridge thing. Oh, I fell over again. Right. Okay. Now I have actually made it over. There's our bridge. If I can just. Oh goodness. If I can just get my foot on. There we go. We can... Oh, no. I was going to say we can work out how strong this thing is, but I'm going into the sploosh. Thankfully, you can just spawn your engineer in the right place, which means we'll spawn right next to it, and then we can try walking across. So turn around. That's it. Leg on top. There we go. Right. Okay. Let's see how much how much force this mortar can take. If we walk to the end, is it strong? Oh, it is. It is strong. If I jump... Oh, I... <laughs> I fall off. Okay, let's just see. If I were to block and mortar my way all the way across, then we can get that far, but then the game doesn't let us stick anything to that because we're we're clashing with the wall. The question is, can I like add some foundations underneath? I don't know. It's definitely not a bilf, but let's press build and then we'll see exactly what happens when physics take into account. Now, surely this will just break, like, either in the middle or at the right side, because it's not actually connected to the left side. Oh, yeah, good. Okay, that's good. 
We have physics and not just my goofy physics either. So now we know blocks are mostly good for like being a foundation or maybe even a counterweight. Ooh, or maybe a pillar. I'm wondering, can I build like a block tower? Like what edge is that sticking to? I don't know. I'm pretty sure though, I'm building like a decent wall. So yeah, I'm literally building this like, like you would a brick wall. So I'm alternating the bricks at every level. And then mortaring like between the gaps and on top and stuff. Which hopefully means our tower's actually pretty strong. So first off when physics come into play. Yep, yeah, it's all good. Looks good to me. And then when I come into play, if I try and climb this, which I can. I'm very good at climbing, by the way. Us engineers. It's one of our, it's actually one of our strong points climbing. But yeah, basically this, this is probably strong enough that, ow, that I could perhaps make a cable stayed bridge. Now, in order to make a cable stay bridge, I do need to sort of, I need to work out where my bridge deck is going. I'm not just eyeballing this in. I'm using like extreme engineering calculations. But yeah, basically from this level, it's going to go straight across to this boulder. So yeah, this needs to be quite a bit higher, really. So give me a minute and I'll just keep mortaring my way up. Okay, so that's that's reasonably tall. Let's just check if I, if I just skip to that. Let's just check it definitely... Oh no. Oh no. Why is it wibbling? It's wibbling so much I can't even talk. But wow. Okay. That's, um, that's not ideal in a word. It's really starting to sway now. From down here, it doesn't seem to be moving too much. So let's climb up so we can see if, if there is more movement up the top. So we are nearing the top. And then if we just pull ourselves on. All right, we can see it's not actually, it's not too wobbly. Like, I'm trying to wobble it myself now. I'm trying to swing my legs a bit. But yeah, I think, I think because I used mortar, it's sturdier than it looked. Maybe if I didn't use mortar, we may have been in trouble. So on our mortar base, we just grab a block. We say, boosh, we grab one to go next to it, boosh. Then we shove our mortar down the gap and then on top, on top. I imagine the mortar like between the gap doesn't actually do anything. So I think it just allows you to stick another block on it. So I don't think this is sandwiching like two layers together, but I'm going to do it anyway, just for consistency. So I'm just going to build up this tower so it's the same height as the one next to it. I'm going to regret how high this is. But yeah, so I'll just keep doing this and then I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, and then we have two towers and I mean, they're not they're not quite in line. I reckon that's within building tolerances though. That's probably fine. Uh, what I should probably do is add like a supporting cross beam. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, maybe go from like there and there. I don't really know if I can get these to connect to each other, but if I just do that side and then that side, then we do mortar in here and here. Oh yeah, it's not going to fit. <laughs> so that doesn't quite work. I mean, I mean, surely though, I could just add a couple of beams like that sort of thing. Yeah, do a bit of that. Then I've just made, I've just made like a nice joint. Get some, get some screws in there. I've basically just done like a dovetail joint. That's decent, that is. That's proper craftsman quality. But yeah, that looks secure now. That Really? That looks decent. We've definitely got two towers. They're joined together, which means we can have our bridge span down the middle. Let's just check that these like stay up. So physics, apply. Oh my god. Oh dear. Oh, oh no. The right one's going to knock. It's like Jenga. No, it's pushed it over. No. Oh no, something seems off. Okay, I don't remember it dropping before. I feel like though, maybe we just don't have the cross beams. Maybe that will fix it and we can just hang our bridge from these pillars and it'll be fine. Yeah, that's, that's way better. That's way better. So in order to hang rope from the right height, I need to pick how high I want my, I want my bridge deck, which depends on that hill over there. So I reckon if we go from this height, I will build it out of beams like this. So to start under the, let's do like three long in each direction. So we've got three of these on either side. We can then sheet from the middle of each. So it's probably easier to sheet from the top middle. Yeah, like that. And then make it a bit wider like that. All right, so then we got a bit of a bridge deck. But then I just want to rope like up to up to the pillar. Now, I'm not sure. Are they are they actually connected? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out shortly because I'm just going to do this to all of them. So if I do that, do the ropes just fall? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. 
Right, so although I couldn't get the ropes to attach to that, which is strange because you can you can get ropes to attach to it. Like if I do if I do that, look, that rope is attached to the stone. But whatever, I found another way. I used the fixed beams to connect to them, and then we've connected like that. So hopefully this could be a way that makes this work. And then we just extend up, we extend our bridge along, and uh, jobs jobs are good. And let's press build, and hopefully everything is attached, and we'll stay. Yes, it's attached. Whilst the bridge deck did break, everything else is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> Brutal. The engineer just, like, stood there watching. So, I think all I need to do is just reinforce this bridge deck. And I can do that with these, the bracing. So, if under here... Hang on, let's turn the light back on. If under here, I just go, like, that. Do a bit do a bit of cross bracing. Okay, because that allows the, the bridge deck to move slightly. Oh, that nearly worked. We've got slightly more of a bridge deck than we had before. Uh, tower tower is still falling over. I wonder why... Yeah, there is mortar down here. I wonder why that keeps coming apart, whether it just is just so much force. I wonder, can I just brace, like, across across these? Like, do we think that will hold them together? Potentially. Oh, it did. It did. Oh, no, it didn't. It did. Why does it drop so much? Oh, no, now they're both falling over. <laughs> Oh dear, that's actually quite, that's quite fun to look at, not gonna lie. We may as well build the whole thing and see, see whether it works right. So keep adding more of these beams. I'm right, not gonna lie, this is actually a really, really long wait. I can't see this working. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I added eight sections on. Oh yeah, that's definitely not in the center either. <laughs> Do it. We'll then plank it up like that. All right, then we just rope up to each of these. I'm hoping that these ropes don't have like a max length. But I think the idea is I just try and keep the, the angle like completely parallel with the other ropes. They do have a max length. Oh no. Yeah, look, as I go from there, you can see where it's joined up the top. It, it comes apart. Okay, question. Can I attach anything to ropes? Oh, I can. Right, we may be saved. If I get that to like that length, I can then shove that down the middle like that. I can do the same over this side like that. And then I might be able to rope from there to that beam. And then from there to... <laughs> down to here this is definitely gonna like the games the game is not gonna appreciate this the devs if if the devs are watching this as well they're probably like oh matt what are you what are you doing mate why do you have to push our game to places it doesn't want to go that's just what us engineers do so that is lovely i can then add another one of those on top so again go to the one beneath shorten it a bit so it's the same length uh, yeah then just then just wang it on top of that in fact, why not why not add some more? All right, and then on this side we're up to the very top rope. So will that reach to there? Yes, it does. It's nice. Then I can just extend all of these down to the bridge deck. So we'll just do this side now. And then we'll do over this side as well. Right, so then we're good to there. And <laughs> honestly, I feel like this thing is gonna have like a safety factor of like minus twelve. Um, I do just want to brace this up a little bit more. I was thinking if I go across the tops like that, I can then do like if we do straight across those, we can then do a little bit of a little bit of that sort of thing. Then I can even like cover it in sheets just to uh just to make it a bit more substantial. All right, nice. There we go. Do I dare press play on this? I know it's gonna end in tears. Actually, yes, yeah, let's definitely not press play. I need to until I add bracing under here, it will definitely not work. But this will definitely help, right? Right? <laughs> there is something quite satisfying about, like, doing all this stuff by hand. Like, I don't know, it almost feels like, you know, like, when you build something in real life, like, you sort of get this feeling, like, day I achieve something. I mean, to be fair, when you build something in real life, you don't build it with physics turned off and then turn physics on to watch it fail miserably. Let's build this thing. I'm intrigued to see, like, how long this animation takes as well, because there's actually quite a lot of... Quite a lot of pieces in this. I think in the demo we had we had some limits. Full game, not so much. It's taking too long. Let's just skip. All right, it's built. Now physics. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, we're back to just the two pillars. So all that wood completely pointless. There's something quite satisfying about watching like bricks fall apart like that. Anyway, what I'm thinking, it might actually this might actually work if I were to like just build like an underbridge for like either end. Like this could be the ultimate bridge. Let's just get some foundations in. So vertical logs like that. 
Then we add some 45 degrees, like that sort of thing. And then it's just a whole lot of bracing. Right, okay, that end might be okay. Probably won't be. This end will need a little bit more work. Probably more foundations down here, which means more logs and more 45 degree pieces. And a lot more bracing so that eventually, after all this work... <laughs> We should, sorry, I probably shouldn't say should. I should probably say we could get a bridge <laughs> that works. There is a chance, albeit a slim one, that this bridge will actually work. Thing is, you have to remember this game is actually, it's made by engineers, like two actual civil engineers. Well, one's a civil engineer, the other one's a structure engineer. And so it's not actually aimed at engineers. It's designed to like try and get engineers like into engineering. So they don't want to make it seem that like engineering is like really hard or really easy. So basically, if I don't if I don't do very well at this, that was that was sort of the intention by the devs. I think some of you might fall. For, uh, I mean, I think some of you will believe that. All right, nice. Okay, my bridge is done. My bridge is done. It only took me like well over half an hour, <laughs> and it's gonna it's gonna fail so badly. All right, let's build. Let's skip that, and then let's watch as physics takes hold. Yay! I mean, to be fair, this part of the bridge did work and the bricks completely missed it. So, looks good to me. Oh no, my, <laughs> my character's been buried. Oh no, he's, he's literally trapped. Can we, can we actually get up? Ow, those bricks are really heavy. <laughs> right, unfortunately, I think, I think we're trapped. But what I may need to do, shove you up there. Oh, it's good to me. Hold on both hands. Right, we're up. We are up. I think my weight up here has stabilized it. Oh, no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. We're coming down. No, onto the other bridge. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that was brutal. Where actually is my character? Oh, look, there he is. Uh, and there it is, confirmed. Engineers completely bald under their hair. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> that was Engineer Sandbox. I probably shouldn't be allowed near bridges like this. Bye, guys.